from how this one shot made Carlos Alcaraz pretty much invincible on the court to not being able to find much success with the same shot against Novak Djokovic. Here's everything to know about why it's tough for Alcaraz to execute it against the Serbian pro. But first, let me tell you a little bit about Carlos Alcaraz's ultimate shot. You all probably know that tennis is a sport where every player is constantly seeking an edge, looking for that one tactical innovation that can elevate their game to the next level. In recent years, one such innovation has taken the tennis world by storm, the forehand drop shot, and nobody has made it more effective than the young Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz. With his lightning quick reflexes and razor sharp accuracy, Alcaraz has mastered this tricky shot to the point where it's become his signature weapon. Opponents have been left super confused by the youngster's cleverly disguised drop shots. No! Alcaraz's deft use of this shot has propelled him to the top of the rankings, and he's now seen as a serious contender for every major tournament he enters. But what makes this shot so effective? It's all about the element of surprise. While most players are content to go for big winners from the baseline, Alcaraz has found that using the drop shot at the right moment can catch his opponents off guard and put them on the back foot. It's a risky shot, no doubt. If it's not executed perfectly, it can leave Alcaraz exposed and vulnerable. But when it comes off, it's a thing of beauty that leaves fans and opponents alike gasping in awe. While drop shots are not uncommon on the tour, Alcaraz employs the forehand drop shot with an unusually high frequency and success rate. On average, ATP players use the forehand drop shot just 0.85 times per match, with a win rate of 51.5%. But Alcaraz takes it up a notch, using the forehand drop shot 2.83 times per match, with an impressive win rate of 6 67.7%. Even on the backhand side, Alcaraz still outperforms most players with a win rate of 52.1%. This This pattern is even more pronounced on clay, where Alcaraz hits a staggering 3.81 forehand drop shots per match and 1.84 backhand drop shots per match. What's more, Alcaraz is not afraid to use the forehand drop shot during crucial moments in a match. One in six of his forehand drop shots occur on break points and points that can lead to break points, with a remarkable win rate of 71.4%. With its innovative and highly effective use of the forehand drop shot, Alcaraz is quick quickly making a name for himself on the tour. Despite the success he has had with the shot in the past, Alcaraz knows that it won't be an easy task to catch the experienced and skilled Novak Djokovic off guard with it. In fact, he has openly admitted that it's always a challenge when facing the former world number one, but that's what makes the sport of tennis so thrilling. the constant battle to outsmart and outmaneuver your opponent, and Alcaraz is certainly not one to shy away from a challenge. With his quick reflexes and expert guidance, he'll undoubtedly continue to bring his A-game to the court, drop shot or not. He believes that this shot helps him beat every player on the tour, except for his two fierce rivals, Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. Although it has proven successful for him against most players, Djokovic and Nadal have learned how to respond to it, making it less effective in matches against them. It seems like they have figured out how to respond to his fiery move. Even though Carlos Alcaraz's forehand drop shot has proven to be a lethal weapon against many opponents on the ATP Tour, the young Spaniard has admitted that it's not a surefire tactic when facing the likes of Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. <laughs> These seasoned veterans can predict Alcaraz's drop shot and are quick to react, making it difficult for the youngster to earn the point. But Alcaraz isn't one to give up easily. If there's one thing to know about this tennis prodigy, it's how he's always looking for ways to improve his game and keep his opponents guessing. On top of that, he's determined to continue making history and prove that he's the next big thing in tennis. In the end, one could only hope that Alcaraz's arson of shots doesn't burn out anytime soon. Maybe he'll find a new trick 
up his sleeve to take on Djokovic and Nadal. Who knows? He might just ace it, because when you really get to know how Alcaraz executes this shot, it's nothing short of brilliant. Carlos Alcaraz's impressive use of the forehand drop shot is not just down to natural talent and instinct, but also careful analysis and strategy. In a recent conversation with Tennis TV, the young tennis star revealed his tactics behind executing the shot to such great effect. I'm trying to see when the opponent is really far off the baseline to drop shots, said Alcaraz. It seems that he is not just relying on his own instincts and skill, but also studying his opponent's positioning and movement on the court in order to execute the shot effectively. This attention to detail is what sets great athletes apart from the rest. Alcaraz's willingness to wait for the right opportunity to use his forehand drop shot shows a level of patience and strategic thinking that is rare in such a young player. And it's not just about the drop shot itself. Alcaraz also has a plan for what to do if his opponent manages to reach reach the ball. According to him, if his opponent reaches the ball, it becomes easier for Alcaraz to do a lob or a passing shot. By using the drop shot as a weapon and knowing how to follow it up with another shot, Alcaraz is proving himself to be a player with a well-rounded game and a bright future ahead of him. And at the same time, Alcaraz's honesty about his opponent's ability to counter his shot shows both his respect for their skill and his determination to continue improving his own game. Despite the challenge, the rising star is sure to keep using his forehand drop shot as an effective weapon on the court, whether it's against the best in the game or anyone else who steps onto the court with him. So yeah, there's a reason why Carlos Alcaraz has quickly become one of the most exciting players to watch on the ATP Tour, and it's thanks to his masterful use of the forehand drop shot. But the young Spanish player doesn't rely on this shot alone. He knows that it can be a risky move, and that it requires precision and skill to execute successfully. For Alcaraz, the decision to use the drop shot during a match often comes down to instinct. He waits for the right moment, when he feels that he can catch his opponent off guard and send them scrambling to the net. And while it may be a risky shot, Alcaraz has found that it can be a highly effective weapon in his arsenal. Once again, not every player is susceptible to the forehand drop shot, and Alcaraz admits that it can be a challenge to use the shot against seasoned veterans like Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. These players are able to read their opponent's moves and anticipate their shots, making it harder for Alcaraz to catch them off guard. But in the end, Alcaraz is not one to back down from a challenge, and he continues to use the forehand drop shot as a key part of his game. With his natural talent and fearless approach to the game, it's no wonder that he's quickly become a rising star on the tennis scene. And that's a wrap on why Alcaraz finds it difficult to execute his signature shot against the Serbian pro. Las marcas, no, eh, obviamente, is Dean que ha apoyado a professional side and the personal side. You know, he... Eh... Well, I, I would say I play better. I, I play, I play really well. Uh...